Hi, this is the video for the upgrade to Android 2.1 on your Samsung Moment. First of all, you're going to need those links uh, to be able to do this to your telephone. You can see I've got 2.1 running on this thing. Um, it's awesome. No problems at all. Uh, the links, you can't place them on YouTube, so this is what I'm doing. If you email me right now, my email address is l-l-e-i-n-a-d-o at gmail.com. That's my last name backwards. If you look at my username on YouTube, it says R-O Daniel. If you spell O Daniel backwards and then put it gmail.com, you'll be able to get an auto response with both of these links. One link for the Android 2.1 software, which you need. The other link for the Samsung smartphone. And you de definitely need that software. You need the old software to be able to do what I'm going to show you. Okay, so go ahead, email me. You'll get an auto response. And it will have both links. Go ahead and download that uh, software. And after you've downloaded it, just uh, install the Samsung from Sprint. Install that one onto your desktop or wherever you install your software, and then we'll take it from there. Okay, you probably downloaded those files, and now you need to unpack one because it's a Z file, which is the 2.1 Android file. And, of course, you won't be able to unpack that unless you have a zip utility. So if you don't have an unzip utility, WinZip or something like that, I went on Google, okay, and I just go, went ahead and searched. You can see JZip free download. J is in Jeep and then zip, one word, JZip free download, okay. And my search results brought up, of course, JZip, a free WinZip alternative. Go ahead and download that software. And this is the software that you're going to need to go ahead and unzip that file that you just downloaded from the Android 2.1 link. Now that you've downloaded both pieces of software and you've unzipped the Android 2.1 with your free zip utility, Put that aside, and we're going to move to the Sprint Samsung SW Upgrade. You'll see this little icon on your desktop. See if I click on it, the end user license agreement pops up. So we know that's working. So let's go ahead and go to my computer or computer or wherever on your hard drive that you keep all your files. And I'm using 7, but you can also use XP, you can also use Vista, it doesn't matter. I'm opening up my C drive, I'm going to Program Files, and when I scroll down, I have two folders. One called Samsung, and the other one called Samsung Electronics. The folder that we need is the second one, Samsung Electronics. We open that up, you'll see the SW Upgrade folder. And then you open that up, you'll see lots of files, the upgrade application, and of course two folders. One models, one driver. You'll need the one that says models. Click on that. You'll see it says Samsung right here. It's an application extension. And then binary folder. The binary folder is where you're going to put the unpacked or unzipped version of 2.1 into this folder. Now, I've already taken it out, the old file uh, that was in here, and I just deleted it. It's All it is is a version of 1.5 Android. You don't need it. You don't want it. You already have it. And this whole thing is about getting 2.1 in there. So, with the unzip file that you have uh, from 2.1 is where you want to place that file into this folder. I've already got it in here, as you can see, with the JZip utility. It's right there. SPH, M900, MR2, DDO3 release. Okay? So, let's go over that again. Program files, Samsung folder, and Samsung electronics folder. Open up the electronics, 
SW Upgrade, open that. You'll see all these files, open Models, and then open the binary. And this is where, we, where you're placing that unzipped, or the, yeah, the unzipped file that you downloaded for 2.1. Just place it into this folder. Now is the fun part. We're going to actually install it onto a friend of mine's telephone and we're going to get him up and running with Android 2.1. We'll be right back.